Hey guys, I'm Love is Dead, and this is a, another episode, the third episode of Pros and Pubs. And today we're going to look at Ricky. Uh, it's going to be played by Ferrari430 from IG. And I think he is, just based on uh, based on the picks here, I think that he is playing with a group of friends at least, because the picks that they have are really, really good for Ricky. And what Ricky needs to be able to get going is a good team that will actually allow him to get the kills that he needs to get uh, to start to steamroll. And if we want to take a look at it, this is going to be a tri-lane sort of on the bottom lane over here. We have Gyrocopter. He is over here. I'm going to put it on player perspective and just jump around between everyone. And he's stacking the camp, and he's going to pull that back so that uh, Tidehunter, who they're facing, can't actually get any experience. He's a little bit afraid to be in lane. And let me pull up the last hits here. Last hits are nice. And he's actually getting nothing. He can't really show up to lane. As you can see, that they have this ward placed down on the bottom part of the map. Uh, and if you, sorry, if you look at the uh, if you look at the mini map, you can see that they have an aggressive ward placed down in their lane. And so they know exactly where Tidehunter is. He's gonna come in right now. He's gonna come. In. He's gonna try to get a get the right click. He has to use Gush. Ricky's gonna jump in now. Telekinesis is gonna send him up in the air. He didn't actually. He could miss a few clicks right there. But Gyrocopter came in. A little bit of a body block, and they're going to get the first blood. Uh, Gyrocopter is gonna pick it up. Probably Ricky could have got that one if he was a little bit closer, um, but. He got a couple stabs in. Really, Gyrocopter, he's quite excellent uh, early part of the game. He can, as you can see, he deals a lot of damage if his flat cannon hits only one person. And he's just going to return to the jungle for now. If you also think about him in a in this kind of situation where you only have one person versus a tri-lane, uh, his missile is actually going to be pretty good as well because it's going to keep the person back. They know it's coming, so they can't just stand there. They'll know they get stunned, and then Ricky will jump on him. Um, and you see he's using it right now over to kill Queen of Pain. Take a look at that. Yeah, this flat cannon stun. I think it's probably going to be a kill for him, which would be really good. And yeah, that should be a kill for him. And his hello is... Sorry, hello, it's uh, Ferrari. He's dealing a little bit of harassment to Tidehunter. If, as we're going to watch him, he does a really good job of predicting where Tidehunter is going to be moving. Uh, so that he stays right behind him and maximizes the effectiveness of backstab, which he's taking two points into it by this point, going for blink strike and backstab, just so he can uh, last hit a little bit easier, and he can harass in lane a little bit easier. He's a little too close to the tower for that one, so he backed off. If you're looking for a real, really good try lane, and he really has to use Gush to get these last hits, um, but if you're looking for a really good situation in a tri-lane, you want to make sure that uh, the enemy isn't getting any experience. And they're actually pushing the lane pretty far. They're going to dive in here. You see the missile is forcing Tidehunter to sit back there. And he's just going to have to eat it by his tower to make sure that he doesn't take too much damage. And that allows them to be a little bit more freer in lane so Ricky can get some last hits and push it up. Um, but the lane is pretty far up there. Actually, looking at the minimap, they're kind of going on Tidehunter, making sure that he stays nowhere near this. So it's really, right now, it's really Ferrari's teammates that are helping him out. So I think I have some time to talk about, right now, about the uh, the whole team that they have going. You have, you have a Rubik who has telekinesis, who can hold up the enemy and push him back, which allows Ricky to get more last hits. You have Windrunner, who can uh, use Shackle to... May give for a massive stun. You have Gyrocopter, where he's clicking around right now. But anyways, his ability, his ultimate ability deals a slow and damage, and then another slow and damage. The first one, I think, is a... Let's see, it's a... I think it's a big slow first. Yeah, may, okay, minor damage. So the second missile, the two missiles hit... The second missile is the one that deals a major slow, a little bit of a slow on the first one, so that's really good. And a large team fight AoE, and Kunkka as well. It's not as good, but uh, he can call people back with X marks the spot, and his boat will slow people down a little bit. Or no, it'll give his teammates, uh, give everyone hit by the rum. Bonus movement speed, yeah, allies boost and they get a bonus movement speed. If Ricky is back down here. So saying in lane, he really needs level 6 before he can do anything. And you'll see as it gets later on to the match, he never actually uh, he never actually initiates into a teamfight. 
And here we're going to go try to get behind him. He's going to find himself um, Keeper of the Light, who is a... Uh, has to be very careful of Ricky, especially with his, especially with his Illuminate. And he's gonna back off right here. He sees that there are three heroes down, and just knows that if he gets, if he, if he eats anything, eats any kind of stun or slow from Tide Hunter, um, or if he eats a Mana Leak uh, stun, that would be the death of him. So he's gonna back off. He sees Crystal Maiden, so that means four heroes are down here. Well, the rest of his team can do whatever they want. So he's just gonna back out of this lane, realizing that they're gonna try to take the bottom tower. And he's going to try to find find a farm elsewhere since he's just going to die in the bottom lane if he sticks down there. It's good to move around when you realize the situation isn't working out for you. So four heroes down the bottom lane means that they're going to try to push out this area and then go defend. But it's actually Ricky that's not going to be going down to defend. And uh, it's important to remember... You know, when you're a carry that early part of the game, you have to make a decision between whether or not you are really going to be any any use in in a team fight, or if you should just continue to farm. He really Ricky really needs level six before he can do anything at all, because if Ricky has to walk up to a fight, he gets focused on immediately, and killed. And he's very squishy. He's only got 600 hit points, 663 hit points. He's very squishy, and uh, so, and he's gonna go farm this top lane while the rest of his the rest of his team goes down and defends bottom tower. They are actually gonna have a hard time. You see, Windrunner goes down here. You have Axis low life, so they probably, he might have been able to pick him off, but it's still a li it's still more effective for him to stay up here and get level six. And if you if you know. Of course, he probably played against the Ricky, and he's actually a little bit hard to spot. So, in the chaos of a team fight, if he pops out of invisibility, he can get a couple clicks in uh, before anyone has figured out exactly what has happened. He's not like Tide Hunter, where you know exactly where Tide Hunter is uh, if he's on your screen, because he's so huge. But they're actually not going to get the tower. They're going to have to back off here. So this is this ended up being pretty good for Ricky. They did lose their tier one tower, but it's really not the tier one tower in the bottom lane for the rain isn't too bad of a isn't too bad of a tower to lose. Top tower is under it doesn't provide you too much positioning. If you lose the second one, that's kind of it, it limits access to your jungle. Actually gonna get another kill. He is looking at them, but he's still gonna continue. He sees that his team is doing pretty just alright. They're holding them off uh, for on five and actually it looks like we have that's queen of pain that is he can't see that but queen of pain's not even part of that fight anyway the queen of pain's coming up top sees that ricky is just farming himself away now he has level six he's only got he's got himself some uh, power treads he's got himself a poor man shield that's good poor man shield is a really good first item like very first item after you, you can either you can either go get two slippers and then get the stout shield in lane, or you can get the stout shield and two slippers, depending on what you want. Usually, if you're going to take a decent amount of harassment, you want to go. And he's going to try to go for Queen of Pain right now. Blink Strike, close, Scream of Pain, that is, makes him very low on health. He cannot be revealed now. And he's actually not going to go for it. He wouldn't have had it. He has a salve that he uses right now. Um, but that would have been a risky kill for him to have, especially now he's got his one blade of alacrity up. Uh, that means he's going to go for a Diffusal Blade. And you're going to get a kill on X. He's going to go for a Diffusal Blade, which is really awesome on Ricky. He provides Mana Burden, yes, but the big thing on Ricky is the Purge. If you put down a Purge, it'll slow down you know, anyone that hit the person you've activated on until basically a crawl. And then you put, him, you put that inside Smoke, that same person inside Smoke, and... They're silenced, they're slowed, and they have a large mischance on you inside of the smoke. Uh, so it, bas it, it allows you to make any type of uh, solo kill. Anyway, he's going to go in right now. I'm going to pick himself up Crystal Main. We have a Scream of Pain ultimate. He uses his magic wand to save some health. The ultimate a little late uh, from Gyrocopter. He's going to get taken out. And now he has the... Uh, Ferrari has the back off. He's going to go invisible. Just enough time to do so. And now he's gonna. They should be backing off here. There's no way he can take that. And uh, I think that was. I think that was a keeper of the light illuminate. 
Just barely dodging that one. Hasn't they haven't really been able to uh, coordinate their slows and stuns yet with him, but he's still able to pick off kills, you know, kind of on the side. Ricky, you need to be careful with your positioning with him. As you can see, he if you didn't notice it before, if you watch again, as he comes up, uh, he he needs to be he he he's very positioning dependent because he can't be caught. If you catch him, you can kill him. But if you can't catch him, then you can't kill him. And if he just sits in the air back here, and you know, team, the team goes in one at a time, he'll be able to he'll be able to punish them for that uh, pretty heavily. As you can see, he's scouting out the top. Uh, he's starting out mid lane. He knows two heroes are there. He sees Tidehunter. Kunkka's coming up here. He's hiding in the trees a little bit. They're waiting for a good initiate. Here we go. Kunkka's going to initiate. The boat misses. Uh, actually, no. It hits one person. I didn't see who it is. But they have... Here's the ultimate coming out from Gyrocopter. That's the slow that really helps them out. And the chaos that um, sort of distracts the enemy. Now, we have Crystal Maiden just coming here for kind of no reason. And now Queen of Pain following up behind her. Jumping into four heroes. Really just not a good idea. But... Uh, Really wonderful for Ricky. So he's got another thousand gold. That's another. That's another blade of alacrity, and then that gives him quite close to his defusal blade, uh, which he can use to start getting solo kills on his own. Really, as you can see, he's not, except for that, that uh, quabble with Queen of Pain up in the top lane. He hasn't gone for any type of solo kills because he knows it's still very dangerous for him to be by himself and revealed. Ricky, of course, he's, he has a slow, but he has no stun, and Blink Strike is only can only kind of be used as an escape. You can use it on your teammates and your own creeps, um, but those have to be near you in order to do that. So he doesn't have a reliable escape like uh, Anti Mage or Queen of Pain or Faceless Void, something like that, where you can just or Morphling as well. But I'm really not sure that there's a better first item for Ricky if you're getting in a farm. It looks like he's scouting out with his team. He knows they're a little bit low, and he's not actually going to TP in here because he knows that that would reveal exactly where he is, and that's what I was talking about. You don't want to do that with Ricky. He's going to come in here, blinks himself in, and silences them so they can't get anything. Gyrocopter coming into his ultimate yet again, slowing them down enough for Ricky to get the kill. You can see he's standing right in front of the heroes that he needs to kill. He's not... He's not trying to uh, hit them, start hitting them from behind. He wants them to walk across him so that he can just get right clicks as uh, as they walk by. Which is really important for Ricky because the more right clicks you get, the obviously the more damage you deal. Um, and body blocking is pretty heavily punished by Ricky. He's looking at Keeper of the Light right now. He doesn't have anything to hold Keeper of the Light down if he does uh, encounter him. But I think he's just going to go and get the farm. But, uh, you can see what pro players, they do. They like to look around the map. And if you double click on whatever button you have set for your hero to select your hero, if you, if you hit that twice, it'll zoom right back. So you can just click anywhere on the map, double click uh, your key, and you'll be right back to your hero. So that's how they're doing that so quickly. You just click somewhere on the map, or I guess this, in this case the courier, double clicks, uh, double clicks his key on the keyboard and he's back to himself. That allows him a good amount of vision. Right now he's deciding he I think he has finished up his diffusal blade or was that only yes he's finished up the diffusal blade. He's got eight charges on that thing. That's eight kills he can make with it. And they're kind of looking up. This is one of the d dangerous positions that anyone gets into in a in a match is where you're staring at each other in the middle lane, and they get, you really don't have really too much vision. I think he can see Crystal Maiden. Yeah, he can see Crystal Maiden from there. He's gonna go up now, uh, but it's definitely a dangerous spot to be. And he knows that Queen of Pain went up north. I think he saw her blink that way, and uh, he's gonna find her up here. But she's low on life right now. Purge, we have the smoke, and that is a dead Queen of Pain. Can't do anything, can't blink away because she's silenced by the smoke. Can't nuke him because she's silenced by the smoke. Right clicks aren't going to work, and she can't get out of the smoke because uh, she's been purged. So that is the power of the Diffusal Blade on, on Ricky. And that's why it's almost, a, it's got to be, there's really just no better item on him uh, for a first item if you got the amount of farm that you need. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. 
And he's looking around for Gyrokov, looking for Axe. He has this is uh, the one decent thing about the missile too is that uh, it'll track the hero, so you know where they've gone. He sees that he's definitely gone by the tower, so he'll be revealed by the tower if he goes in. He sees that he's gonna take a little bit of damage. And he's staying right out of tower range, and he's like, "Oh ho, oh, you're gonna run right by me!" And then Gyro's right there to wait him. He uses purge it again. So that thing's on a 10-second cooldown, and purge just ensures that nothing can happen. That uh, his heroes can do. Here's what he's targeting to do nothing on his team. I think uh, no. Let's let's wait until see if he can make a kill on Miracle over here. Um, they keep it late. He's gonna go right in, purge right up, and silence the. I think it was a magic wand charge that brought his health back up. He's low on health. Needs to back off a little bit. And they got a nice boat that's actually gonna hit. The shackle is not gonna last, but telekinesis is up there to hold her in place. And that is that's how you uh, that's how you play with a Ricky. He really does require some sort of stun or slow in order to be able to deal damage, because otherwise you can just get about one right click and that's it. They do have a ward down, so they can see Ricky here. They do have a ward in the mid lane. I'm going to take a quick look at what we got. So we have uh, not a whole lot on Rubik right now. We have, uh, it looks like a headdress just finished up on Windrunner. Gyrocopter's got a Drum of Endurance phase boots going for extra movement speed. Let's go back in here. And that's Ricky going to go down. He's probably get, he got a little aggressive there, a little bit out of position. Um, and so is Kunkka. And he's got battle. He's got battle hunger. He got Blink Dagger now up on Axe. They can figure that one out. Anchor Smash is going to finish him off. And Kunkka and Tidehunter are going to talk to one another. Anyways, yeah, he's uh, tanking up a little bit with the Bracers. So Drum of Endurance, so that's going to help Ricky out. Because uh, more movement speed means more attacks that Ricky can do if he can get closer. And Kunkka, uh, he's looking at Axe right now. Yeah, he's got phase boots as well, and he's got a Gauntlet of Strength. So not too many big items up on anyone else. You know, the, the Drum of Endurance is really good. We have a Shackle up here. Ricky is still dead. All right, now he's back alive, so he's going to come back into this fight. He's got four charges left on his Diffusal Blade. So you can see they are... they, they The uh, the Radiant, they don't have any towers, which is good for the Dire. Even though the Dire have been eating a lot of... Uh, <laughs> has been dying a lot, almost twice as much, they're actually getting towers, but the thing about that is they do have a Ricky that is trying to farm and is just coming into his power right now. And as you can see, only a couple clicks, using Purge again, making sure that Crystal Maiden can't go anywhere. But that was, what, four clicks, I think, and uh, Crystal Maiden was dead. That means, that means Ricky's pretty scary. That means Crystal Maiden needs to be with her team. And as you can see, that's going to put a little bit of a problem on Queen of Pain. He does have another charge ready if he wants to use it. Here we go. And then wait for Windrunner. Here we go. He actually uses the Purge, but the Shackle misses. He's going to get the final right click, but his teammates were there. So yeah, as he's he's been roaming around around the map. This is what you do as a Ricky. Once you got your Diffusal Blade, can, you can uh, when you have that level advantage and the kill advantage, and the farm advantage, you continue to pressure your your your. You continue to extend your advantage by you know just attacking the other team and picking them off, making sure that they don't get any time to farm. And uh, they're doing a good thing of, of sticking together and trying to push down towers. They know that they, they, they're definitely losing the farming game, so they're trying to get some map awareness, map control. But uh, with the lack of sentry wars they've been putting down, not too much. I haven't seen really any dust. No one's bought a uh, Gemma True site. Um, they really don't, even though they have the tower, since Ruki is pressuring everywhere, and making sure that uh, anyone that's by, him, by themselves is going to get caught out, um, he's actually, they actually don't have as much map control as uh, as it might appear based on the tower differences. And even with, let's see, the XP graph is at 75, it's, and then the gold graph is actually even. So actually staying good with gold with all the towers that they've been getting and the uh, kills, but uh, everything is sort of stacked up here on Ricky. And we're going to look at, uh, at this point in the game, going to look at net worth. Because Ricky has not been getting kills, has not been farming 
uh, creeps at least. He's been farming heroes because they keep uh, getting himself picked off. But now you can see they're all together except for, well, except for Tidehunter who's down in the bottom lane for some reason as I'm looking at the minimap. I think he's just gonna stick in this top lane again. Gyrocopter, is he gonna have anything new? Kunkka doesn't have anything new. Rubik doesn't have anything new. Windrunner. Nothing new for her either. So now that uh, he's not looking for ki he's now he's looking for farm because that's the only thing he can get. They know that they're all grouped up, and uh, he knows that they they have to. They don't really want to. Uh, he needs to engage carefully when he does that. So we're gonna pop off the ultimate here from Gyrocopter. It's actually just gonna. I think he's gonna use Purge to get Miracle. We have a Scream of Pain ult that whiffs on him, and now he's gonna jump himself in. They're gonna try to get Shackle. That's gonna be enough, I think. There it is. Hello gets another kill. That's Ferrari. He gets a triple kill. That was a good team fight going their way. He has picked up a Gemma True Sight. I'm actually not sure where he picked that up. If he got that uh, from the enemy team. I think I don't think he bought that. Um, it's it's decent to have on him, uh, you know. Even though you, you have, uh, even though you are invisible, you're the one that you get the gem tree side for. It's good on him because he can look around, D ward, and get rid of any sentry wards that uh, they might have placed down, or allow someone else to get rid of uh, get rid of a sentry ward they placed down in a team fight because he needs to be using his right clicks in team fights to deal damage. We have a Ravage going to eat him up here. He got a blinking in two heroes. And he's going to go invisible just before he gets a kill. Then boat on three. BKB popped off just so he doesn't, uh, someone doesn't place down a ward and try to get him. And he's going to back off. He's going to find himself a ward and heal up. We have the Gyrocopter ultimate up yet again. And we have a stun thing from Telekinesis. He's going to jump himself in. He wants Basilius, but Queen of Pain is in here. Gets the kill. And uh, Miracle gets shackled, but he wasn't able. He he, I think he went off Crystal Maiden in order to maximize that shackle that was that was gotten on to uh, keep it the light, but a little bit too aggressive. And uh, Queen of Pain showed. I mean, he would have had it uh, if Queen of Pain hadn't showed up to the fight, but she did, and she got the kill for it. But he's only died two times, and he's 14 kills by now. But he's doing pretty well. And Queen of Pain really seems to be the only one he's worried about. Axe really it hasn't been too much of a problem for him. Queen of Pain can get pretty big, but still going to be difficult for her to deal with Ricky. Any squishy hero is going to be. He's going to find, uh, going to find himself Miracle. And he's going to use his final purge. Gets the kill there. There's a mechanism, and I think a wand charge, that went off in order to try to save Keeper the Light. But uh, with the amount of DPS that Ricky can dish out right now, Matt and using Backstab to... Using backstab to deal even more damage. Actually, sorry, I didn't talk about the skill build, but I remember what he did. He he, he finished off backstab first, then went for the blink strike, uh, just getting uh, more damage and reducing the cooldown on that spell down to five seconds, and then he leveled up smoke screen. He got one point in it uh, a little bit early on so that he could have the utility that was right around level six when it was time for him to start using the using the spell, and obviously picking up the ultimate whenever. Whenever it is ready for you, ready to be skilled. Um, but the the reasoning behind that was because he wanted to have the blink strike to give him a little bit more effectiveness in lane. Uh, he didn't need to use he didn't need to use any he didn't need to use smoke screen earlier on in the game because he had so much stun potential uh, with his team, and that's why he didn't he didn't need to get that early on. I'm going to have a big team fight right now. We have five heroes. They're both going to come in, and he's going to start dealing damage in the middle of the fight. Smoke was getting out on two. I'm going to pick off two heroes right there. He actually picks up, uh, right before that fight, the upgrade to his Diffusal Blade, and he's already used one of those charges. Going to get himself Crystal Maiden, who tried to hide away in the woods. Uh, he's looking for another kill. His Diffusal Blade is up. We got Windrunner coming up here. You're going to get a Shackle onto the trees. It's going to give him enough time. We have a Power Shot. One, two, three clicks, and then he's dead. We had to use, the Kunkka used his uh, X marks the spot, I see, to get him. And Purge going to be used now on Tidehunter, making sure he can't get away. And Tidehunter goes down. So the uh, 
team fights really going their way at this point in the game. There's not a whole lot that the enemy team can do at this point. Uh, thir 25 minutes in, we have Axe here. He's got a blade mail, which is decent because he can take a lot of damage and dish it out. Back here, Keeper of the Light, who's got a mechanism. Tidehunter, who is looking at Rubik right now. Tidehunter's got himself his blink dagger, his arcane boots. Queen of Pain doesn't even have doesn't have a BKB. Really doesn't have anything other than treads. We have Crystal Maiden here with nothing much either. He does have dust. So I haven't really seen that used though. So looking at Kunkka. Kunkka has got a drum of endurance, and I think we already talked about uh, Gyrocopter having one. So. Well, uh, miscommunication and pubs to to jump of endurance. The uh, the abilities they don't stack. The 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 aura doesn't stack. Ricky's just gonna get another kill right now. Bunch of more of the kills. And uh, Gyrocopter picked up a Black King bar that's gonna stop anything. A lot of magic damage that can come out from their team, actually. And uh, we have Arcane boots up on Rubik. And not much else. But anyways, the Black King bar, two Black King bars is good for against this team because you have the Illuminate damage, Queen of Pain damage, you have Tide Hunter and Crystal Mane. All of those are magic damage heavy. Uh, except for Axe is really the only one that, that isn't. Um, but a uh, really good item against the team setup that they have because when he pops out, they still can't, they have to right click him down. It also gives him a little bit more damage and a little bit extra tank ability. Certainly not an item you always need on him, but really good choice and uh, for for this situation. And Yasha is now picked up by him. That's going to give him extra movement speed, the extra movement speed again, just so he can right-click more, and that's what you really need to focus on on Ricky. It's getting all the right-clicks you can. Now he is pretty... Pretty daring right there. I mean, if they had any type of reveal, they might have been able to do something against him. I don't think his Ravage up. Ravage was up, so yeah. A little bit risky by him. He's going to see Queen of Pain right now, who's way out of position. And he's going to go on her. I think we got the Smoke, and now the Purge. There's a couple of clicks down, and now Basilius is going to be focused on Crystal Main's going to go down. They pop off the BKB, and he's going to dive the tower right now. Blink strike himself away, so he doesn't take too much damage. Kunkka now coming in from the backside. We have a ship going to hit two heroes. He jumps back in. Smoke, another purge. It's going to be four heroes down. And that's like 40 seconds. This is pretty, I mean, this is pretty much the end of the game, but you don't really need to watch the extra, you know, 10 more minutes that's there because they're going to, they're, there's really nothing that the enemy team can do at this point. 16 kills versus 46 kills. But that's how you steamroll with Ricky. It's not that Ricky does it on his own. He's got to have a team with him to do it. If he does have that team with him and, he, and they're, they're coordinating well, uh, using the using the slows, the stuns properly, he can get out of control really quickly. But um, without that, without that, he can be certainly a lot less effective. Especially once you get into the higher skilled matches where people are usually buying lots of types of reveals and they 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 they're more experienced and know how to deal with a Ricky generally. But anyways, I thought this was like an excellent way to show the power of Ricky and uh, how he can be maximized. And that it's really not, Ricky is not really uh, one of those five-man, you know, 1v5 fighters. He does need the rest of his team there to be able to uh, deal his damage. He's kind of a, well, he's a little cat or something. Right? A rat, perhaps. And you need to play him carefully. But anyways, I'm Love is Dead, and thank you for tuning in, or perhaps watching on my YouTube page. I uh, hope you perhaps learned something. And uh, I'll be continuing to make these, so thank you for tuning in. And I'm signing off.